Hello everyone. <clears throat> so, I'm making this video in honor of me having a hundred subscribers on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use Resamplomatic 5000, which is a VST sampler that is included in the ReSuite uh, suite of plugins that comes with Reaper. So today I'm playing with uh, Reaper 5.0, or 5.1, 5.01 to be accurate. And uh, it looks a little bit different, but everything seems to uh, everything seems to be exactly the same. So let's get started. So um, this I'm only going to use uh, Resuite plugins to show you how to do this. This should be applicable in any DAW uh, that can run VSTs. So <clears throat> first thing we're going to do here, going to get us a Resamplomatic on there. have the audio set up a little bit uh, differently so that I can record this video. Uh, today I'm working on my ThinkPad. In the past I've been working on my desktop and the uh, requirements are a little bit different. Okay, so you'll see here on Resamplomatic um, there's a whole lot of information here and for right now we're just going to ignore that, right? So I'm going to show you how to set up a simple drum machine uh, which can be as simple as having a single drum sample or as I'm going to show you, sorry about that, or as I'm going to show you, it can be as complicated as having a full drum kit. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we need a sound here. This is where your wave, your wave file goes. So we're going to go to Browse, go to where your uh, wave files are. I'm not sure if it accepts other weight. It seems to accept a whole bunch of files here, but uh, I would recommend Wave. They're the highest quality and best sounding, and they're also standard. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to use a kick. All right. So if you click this button here, you can hear the click. It's going to turn that up. Yeah, it's as loud as I can get it. All right. So uh, this is your attack, your decay, your release, and sustain is down there. I um, so basically you can adjust these here using your uh, eyes or you can adjust them using numbers here attack sustain decay release um, so right now we have this loaded up and the way that this comes by default if you if you insert yourself a MIDI item and you go here all of these will give you a kick drum and you're making Nine Inch Nails music, you know? Uh, what that means is that uh, they are all exactly the same, and if you want to change their pitch, that's a little bit trickier. So, but typically on a drum kit, you don't change the pitch of the drums that you're using. So for this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it, but you typically don't want to do it. Uh, if you make it note semitone shifted then they change it's a beautiful sound but that's not really what we're looking for right so we're gonna ignore the MIDI note that's the mode that we're in for the drums um, because we're gonna add some more stuff we're gonna add a hi-hat and a snare we're going to need to set a specific MIDI note that only triggers one drum at a time. So typically, let's move this up to uh, let's say C2, which is 30 something or other, 36 possibly. Hey, there we go. And then we will move this to 36. And now all you have is C2, which you can see it has written there the name of the sample. None of these other ones will trigger that kick. All right, let's add another one. <clears throat> now, there may actually be any, a way to do this all within one resamplomatic, but if there is, I have no idea how to do it. Uh, I don't use resamplomatic that often. So, we've got our everything the way it was. Let's browse. Let's go find us a snare. C2. 
snare. There we go. All right, now. And if you adjust, for example, the attack, if you don't know what that does, it's fun to play around with because it helps you learn how uh, synthesizers and samplers work. The attack dramatically cuts down the uh, amplitude of the sample and you kill the attack. All right, now on here we have the snare on every single thing. So we don't want that. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Let's move this up to 38. You know what, I'm just gonna use my keyboard. There we go, that's easy. <clears throat> 38, and now we have kick. Sounds good. And let's get one more in there. And you can do this with as many drums as you want. I'm going to show you something cool here in a second. All right, so here's our hi hat. And we'll go ahead. Let me see. I can't, I can never remember. What is that? Boop, boop, boop. Well, that didn't help anything. <laughs> All right, so this is typically your closed hi-hat, if I remember correctly. And in your name notes, that's 44. All right. So we'll put this one to 44. And we are good to go. So that means... You now have a custom built drum machine. All right. Now, let's say you build yourself a custom built drum machine using only free samples that you find online. I recommend freesound.org. Uh, it's a sound library that has probably millions of royalty free sounds and you can build all kinds of uh, interesting stuff there. So, but you want to tie it together. You want it to make it sound like it's a, a real machine that's been built by professionals, right? Because right now we have a kick from one, one source, a snare from another source, and a hi-hat from another source. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of compression on there. So we go to recomp. Come on, baby. There we go. Put a little bit of recomp and you can do it however you like it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a, the New York drum bus here. Auto makeup. All right. And then just the tiniest hint of reverb. Put it on mix alive there. That's a little bit too much. So let's move that down to maybe 34 percent all right it's starting to sound pretty good and you can add as many of these resampomatics as you want as you can see they don't use very much uh, cpu which is great a uh, big sampler like sample tank uses considerably more resources um, and it, sample tank might be entirely too much for what you need uh, resampomatic is a great simple way to load up single samples and do some interesting stuff with them. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a line on Tumblr or on YouTube. Thanks for watching.